Okay, I've got a battery in the DX286 now. So I thought we'd have a look at some of the more common, some of the more useful key presses to switch functions on these radios and how they differ between the older SR286 and the newer DX286. So uh, the two radios are actually sitting on the uh, manual that I printed out for the SR286. Let's just concentrate on the older radio for a moment. If we want to switch the um, long or medium wave band to the external antenna socket, which is a very useful function. On this SR286, the manual tells us to power on the radio. So we'll just put the radio there, I'll turn the volume down. We'll power the radio on, and then we need to switch to the uh, long or medium wave band. So we'll just hit the AM, we're on long wave there. And then we must press and hold the page and AM buttons. So we've got the page and the AM. I'll just press and hold those. And I can switch between external. You see it just switched to external there. And page and AM again. That didn't work. It's sometimes a little bit tricky uh, with these two buttons. So let's go to page and AM. And we're on the internal. And page and AM again. Page and AM. And we're on the external. Okay, so that was the way on the 286, the SR286. Let's try the DX286. I'll put that there. Okay, now the manual here tells us the volume down on this as well. We just hold the meter button or the RDS button, whichever you want to call it. We just hold that the meter minus or RDS, press and hold that, antenna external, press and hold again, antenna internal. So that is actually much easier. You haven't got that problem of trying to hit those two buttons at the same time. So next we'll have a look at the um, antenna amplifier. Now the antenna amplifier, when we've got the um, external antenna plugged in, in um, AM and um, long wave, we can turn on an antenna amplifier when we have the um, radio set to the external socket. So here, we're on medium wave band on the SR286, uh, 648 kilohertz. We need to press page and zero simultaneously. Page and zero. And you'll see there it says amp off. And we'll page and zero again. Okay, so you can see it. Uh, try page and zero again. Page and zero. And we've got amp on. Okay, amp on. So what about the DX286 for the antenna amplifier? So let's put that there. And all we've got to do is press and hold the uh, set button for two seconds. So we need to have the radio in medium or long wave. We need to make sure the radio is set to the external antenna for medium and long wave. So if you recall, we had to hold and uh, press the button there, the RDS button, uh, showing external. And then if we press and hold the set button, got the amp off there. Let's press and hold it again. And we've got the amp on. So again, it's one key press against the two required on the SR286. So switching in the external antenna and switching on the antenna amplifier is simpler on the DX286. It's a one button rather than a two button press. What we'll do next is we'll run both of these radios up. I'm going to connect them up to my Wellbrook loop. And we'll do uh, a daytime uh, medium wave uh, band scan on both of them. Not a lot on medium wave this time of the day here, but we'll see what there is.
attended his resignation at Buckingham Palace as the Conservative... BBC Radio 5 Live. When it's me and LV. No wonder we're rated excellent on trust pipe. At LV.com. 10% of customers paid £179 or less. Of... Just a couple of results to come. Labour has won 412 seats and the Tories 121. <laughs> increase in Labour votes. The electorate in expressing their dislike. Country in the world. And it is thanks entirely. <laughs> ready to play a role. So far, go head to head at 5 p.m. German boss Nagelsmann. Anywhere from Taunton up towards Junction 21 for Western Supermare. 